for a few minutes and uh, she's just going to introduce the power project that's in New Bedford. So uh, I hope all you viewers welcome her and um, welcome to the studio, Kalia. Thanks, Marcus. I'm happy to be here and to speak with your audience today. Um, as he said, I am uh, with the Power Project, which is People Organizing for Wealth and Ecological Restoration. You can find us on Facebook. What Marcus is saying about Facebook is certainly on point. So uh, it's facebook.com slash New Bedford Power. Um, you can track what we're doing and our accomplishments there and uh, like us, please. Um, Power is a project that was started with a good friend of mine, Kepra Ma'at Heru, who uh, runs a popular education company called the SU Squared Collective, um, and it's also a project of the Marion Institute, which is a nonprofit down here in the south coast of Massachusetts. And our objective really is to uh, build community through restoring our relationship to each other uh, and to the environment. So uh, the environmental movement made some big strategical errors back in the 60s and 70s when it was really getting started and really talked about the environment as something that's separate from people. And we really try to redefine environment as everything around us. So your community is your environment. Uh, and there's no reason why uh, trying to improve your community or improve your environment shouldn't also have economic benefits. Uh, so we're really looking at trying to create jobs in we call green the green economy. I'm sure you guys have heard that term. Uh, it's been all over the place the last couple of years. Uh, but the idea, for example, we're working on an energy efficiency project. So here in New Bedford, 60% of the buildings were built before 1949. So a lot of really old buildings, lots of, as Marcus said, he's got a little leak going on right over here. I'm sure in the winter it's awfully cold up here. Um, that means you have to turn the heat up higher, and that means you pay a lot of money for your bills. So uh, by, by making our buildings more energy efficient, uh, we save people money, but it also takes workers to do that work. So we also create jobs, and we're reducing carbon emissions uh, to help with climate change and improve the environment. Oh, that's a lot of good.